The Clemson Tigers come to Athens just 80 miles down the road for the two teams' second consecutive season opener against each other. Last year, the Dogs went to Clemson and were defeated 38-35, to but this year they're hungry for redemption and on their own turf between their own hedges. Now it's 90 degrees out here with a balmy southern wind. But Coach Rick said that his dogs are ready for these exact situations. They are conditioned. Their summer conditioning is coming into effect today. And this is an important game, especially for the non-conference matchup, SEC-ACC. This will be very important in determining the playoff schedule at the end of the season. Now, this is also the first game for Jeremy Pruitt, defensive coordinator, fresh off a national championship title at FSU. The Georgia defense was under scrutiny last year, and the biggest question mark going into the season has been the youth and inexperience of the secondary. Pruitt does coach the backfield and has been rotating players in different positions to have more options for different dime and nickel packages. He's also fresh off a national championship season at FSU. On offense, wide receiver Michael Bennett told us this week that ball handling and timing had been a main focus and some mistakes in those areas in the preseason scrimmages. Something to watch for today if they can handle and be on point in a loud, exciting home game. Now the O-line, the front five guys, only two position players are locked down. That's left tackle John Theus and center David Andrews. Something else fans can get some answers to about who will play those other three spots. Two new quarterbacks for both teams, Cole Stout from Clemson and Hudson Mason from Georgia. Stout will have his first college start here between the hedges tonight, and Hudson Mason begins his first starting season, but with two games at the end of last season under his belt. Another advantage Mason has over Stout is the experience around him. The Tigers lost their quarterback, Taj Boyd, Sammy Watkins, and just this week, their leading rusher, Zach Brooks, out for the season with a foot injury. But the Tigers still have a lot of potential on offense and could be the quickest tempo team that Georgia faces all season. Now, the Georgia offense faces all four returning D-line players, including defensive end Vic Beasley. Beasley holds the spot for most sacks in his conference among active players and has been on watch list as the best defensive end in the country. Last year, the Clemson Edge rusher, nicknamed Big Beasley, sacked quarterback Aaron Murray twice. The Georgia O-line has a big responsibility in protecting Mason from Beasley in the defensive line, and Coach Rick knows it all too well, saying it will be a battle. Who, whoever lines up against Beasley's got their hands full. I mean, whoever it is, uh, I mean, I don't know if they're always going to put him on one side or the other. I mean, he, he may end up on either edge. He may end up coming up the gut. I don't know what they're going to do with the guy, but... Whoever has the assignment of blocking Beasley's got, got their hands full and, and probably going to need some help. The dogs are anxious to hit someone other than each other and in front of the crowd of 93,000 on their own turf between the hedges. Make sure to come back to georgiadogs.com for all of our normal post-game packages, player interviews from the locker room. Thank you for joining us for week one of game day. I'm Olivia Harlan for GTV.